This morning, there is uncertainty as to whether a ceasefire will be put in place to allow humanitarian aid to be delivered from Egypt into Gaza. And right now, the death toll on both sides is nearing 4,000 as the Israelis prepare for a land invasion of Gaza. Meanwhile, authorities here in the U.S. say that the conflict in the Middle East may have led to the targeting and tragic killing of a child on American soil. CBS News' Naomi Ruckham has the latest. More Israeli ground troops have moved closer to Gaza. Military officials say a Hamas commander was killed over the weekend by airstrikes. The U.S. Embassy says there are reports that a border crossing between Egypt and Gaza will open to allow in desperately needed humanitarian aid. But the situation is unpredictable. Gaza is running out of water and electricity. In a CBS 60 Minutes interview, President Biden said Israel has to go after Hamas. Hamas is a bunch of cowards. They're hiding behind the civilians. A U.S. official tells CBS News Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has invited the president to Israel and that both sides have discussed the possibility of that visit. Though today, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is back in Israel after meeting with multiple leaders in the Middle East over the weekend. Flights carrying Americans returning from Israel landed in Florida, New York, and Chicago. I got to the gate, I sat down, and I started crying. But in a nearby Chicago suburb, a memorial is growing after authorities say a knife-wielding man attacked his tenants injuring a Palestinian mother and killing her six-year-old son. The sheriff's office says the child was stabbed 26 times. How can anyone do that to a little boy? I can't. In a statement, President Biden expressed condolences to the child's family, adding, quote, this horrific act of hate has no place in America. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News. The Department of Justice has opened up a hate crime probe into that attack in Illinois. Meanwhile, the FBI is warning that threats in the past week have increased against Jewish and Muslim facilities. The agency is asking for tips from the public, with their biggest concern being lone wolf-style assailants.